No, there's no, there's no update. We're fairly relaxed. He's, um, you see him in the game the other night. He's, he's working very well, uh, very focused. And naturally, when you're a, a really good player, and especially a young player who's as committed and professional as he is, then he's going to obviously acquire attention. But he, um, now he's, he's, he's working so well, and there's nothing really uh, to report on him. That's about how does it feel to be? Yeah, listen, I think we all understand that the people that are close to Celtic understand that the model that Celtic works. Um, Matt's been at the club for three years. He's developed into the player that he has. He knows the privilege it is to, to play for Celtic. And, of course, naturally how it works is the, the players get that opportunity to move on. Now, Celtic is a club where you can move on, uh, but you don't have to. And it's a very difficult club to move on from. Um, but naturally, with the wages that are on offer for, for for players, then that makes it a real challenge for Celtic to compete uh, at that level. But what I've seen with Matt is that he's a first-class professional. Casper knows him well as well, having been uh, in the early stages of his, his Denmark career as well. And he will tell you also, he's a really, really humble guy. He's very devoted to his profession and he knows what he has here. So we're all quite relaxed with it. Um, Every player has a value, we know that, but what we, uh, what we see him as a really important player for us and, uh, and whilst he is here, we'll continue to develop him and help him improve.